a very good looking filly that um, deserves a shot. Um, certainly it'd be great for her owner Brad Anderson to have a contender in Breeders' Cup and obviously if we could hit the board it would be a, it would be a, like a win for everybody. Let's just talk about her season overall. She's had a good year, Denny. Um, she's won four races this year and uh, has matured a lot and improved throughout the year and uh, her best race was probably in the La Trion when she was second to Mana My Girl and um, yeah, she's in good form. She uh, couldn't be looking any better. We're delighted with her, and she's coming into it really well. Uh, in her last race, she was fourth in the spinster at Keeneland, her first race at a mile and an eighth, I believe. Uh, uh, sort of analyze that race, and um, I mean, do you have any questions about the distance, or do you think there are other circumstances that day? Yeah, there's still some questions about the distance. We, we don't know, really, if she wants to go that far. She didn't run her best race that day for whatever reason. Um, so we're just um, she, we're just going to kind of forget about that because she's trained so well since then that uh, I think she deserves a shot. Um, she's doing really, really well, and uh, I think she'll run a good race. She won the groupie doll at Ellis Park. That's sort of a one and a half turn mile. Did you um, consider the Philly and Mare sprint for her, or you think she's really a two turn horse? Well, she's won some races at seven eighths and a mile. Uh, and we did consider the one turn uh, seven eighths uh, Philly Mare Sprint, but we think as she's matured, we think she's probably better now in the two turn races. And um, I think that's kind of what we're going to stick with for now. You but. feel confident that she belongs with these top, top Phillies and Mares? Certainly, uh, Monomoy Girl is the leader of that division and of course the, got the skydiver is in the race as well which makes it double tough but um, not getting beaten terribly far by Mono My Girl uh, in September uh, give us a lot of confidence in our filly and we know she's improving but uh, it's a deep race and um, obviously we're going to have to improve some but uh, I think she's, she's headed in that direction. She's had different riders um, in her recent races. Who's, who's going to ride her in this race? Tyler Gapleon, he rode her last time and he'll ride her again, yeah. yeah. And he's certainly riding with, you know, he's coming off a string of riding titles, riding with a lot of confidence and... Correct, um, yeah, absolutely. We have confidence in Tyler. And he, he'll ride her with confidence and I think that's important. He's the leading rider at uh, just concluded fall meet at Keeneland. So um, he's riding, he's riding really well. So um, I think it's a good fit. How big an upset in your mind would it be if she wins? Yeah, it would be an upset. I mean, uh, it's a deep race, but you have to be in it. And we've seen bigger priced horses than her win Breeders' Cup races in the past. So um, if your horse is doing well and um, you're happy with how they're coming into the race, I think you, sometimes you got to take a shot. The groupie doll was sort of a coming out party for her. That was a, you know, a, a big performance. So, sort of talk about that race at, at Ellis Park that day. She ran a really big race at Ellis when she won the stake there and um, set some pretty legitimate fractions and um, drew away uh, the last sixteenth of a mile. So that was a, you're right, that was a, a breakthrough race for her. And um, she followed that race up with another big effort. So um, certainly she's the daughter of Bernardini and I think they tend to improve with age and, and maturity. And I think she's just, Getting uh, getting better right now, and, uh, and we're going to. Uh, the plan is to keep her in training next year as a five-year-old, and I think that uh, that's an exciting prospect. The single biggest group of horses in the Breeders' Cup is coming from Churchill Downs. Here, uh, you've been in Kentucky a long time. Uh, just s s sort of talk about where we're at with racing in Kentucky and what that says that that you know. Lady Kate is part of, again, the biggest group of horses, and many of those horses ran at Ellis Park, which used to be considered kind of a wheat link in this circuit. Kentucky racing is certainly getting strong. There's a lot of horses uh, stable at Keeneland and Churchill right now. Some of the best horses in the country one of them are racing here at the moment, and there's some, uh, the purses obviously are, are improving, and I think that that, that, that tends to uh, go hand in hand. The purses get better, the quality of horse get better. Um, and uh, we're seeing that quite a bit right now. There's a lot of quality horses stable here. 